Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. We are moving on to Manifest Destiny, the final case Earl, in Vice. Earl. Oh, really? The 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Well, this we got a shooting to start off with, and you think it'd be homicide, but there's army surplus morphine in there as well, of course. Ooh. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. Uh, he had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Oh, jeez. Here's we didn't get all of it. Well, more syringes, more murders, more detectiving, and let's go. It doesn't seem like we've been in Vice for very long. You say this is the last one. Hey, Captain, where are you going? Where are you going, Captain? I want to ask more about the shooting. Like, you have any more information, or like, like, what's like the names of the victims or anything, sir? Sir? I'm going back to my loading zone, Phelps. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, well, let's get out of here as soon as I figure out how to do that. This is the ba Oh, the they balcony? have like a little balcony! The hell is this? It's fancy, oh. is what it is. Our police station doesn't have that. No. 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 I don't think it even has a second floor. I don't think it... Well, it might. Maybe. I haven't been in because I never needed to. Exactly! I have never been in there either. Alright, well. This is going to be another case of fuck Roy. <laughs> so that's the actual destiny we're manifesting. It's just... Sorry, Roy! See ya! <laughs> oh. oh. Well, good job. Now what? Oh, come on in! Ah, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh. Sucker. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. I was about to say, next thing you're gonna do is just run him over. Later, loser. Oh, come on, you can get in. You can get in. Come on. He's like, no. It's your car, right? No. Not until you stop. All right, fine. S well, see ya. God, that was so easy. And you see him running directly behind your car. You just hear breathing. <laughs> Phelps! So I'm feeling a little cathartic. Let's uh, get a little crazy this episode. Good Just, you know, God. complete disregard to all the rules. Ooh, that was a lot of popping. I know you want to get that achievement, man, but is it cost... Does it cost this many lives? Oh, even if I don't get it, I'll still have made my mark in this city. A bloody mark that's left with someone's spewed organs. Left Jesus. a skid mark all over the fucking sidewalk. Okay... Glad you feel that way. Uh, you stupid I mean, Cole people Phelps just, is supposed to, uh, like, protect and serve, but he's not protecting or serving. More like detect and sever. Homicide guys are already inside. So in we go. 111 Club. Back terrible, back. terrible shooting. We're here about Oof. the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner. I thought he said over by the bastard. <laughs> I need to learn how to read. So Eddie, one of the dudes murdered, was actually in Cole's old unit. Wait, what? Dear me. Oh, crap. Fiddleston and Bow. Get this. They used to be in a four piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree. We've met the rest of them. Wait a minute. Isn't this that fancy club that we kept going to with Roy? Yes. That's the blue jazz club. Oh, okay. Or the blue whatever. Scare me for a it's, second. It's the blue place. Blue joint. Yeah, this guy was fucked the fuck up. A dozen rounds into him. Jesus. She, he, he. Sh. Why Look so many bullets? Gore. Ugh. Come on. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> then we got a trombone, or not trombone, trumpet. <laughs> Come on, band man. You know what that is. Look at that, look at that flute! <laughs> so he's got one mouthpiece. Mm-hmm. 
Very nice looking mouthpiece. And the other two play... are syringes. Yeah, I could never play trumpet. I tried uh, playing it when I was in fifth grade, but then, uh, you know, the mouthpiece, I just couldn't get my lips around it. And then I moved on to baritone and eventually tuba, which have, like, gigantic toilet bowl shaped mouthpieces. Mm hmm, yes. Anyway, one, two, three. Oh, look at that! What? That case must have cost more than the trumpet. Got syringes, tourniquets, and look at this. The Blue Room Jazz Club. Oh, that is the place no. that you are thinking of. Oh, right. no. Yeah, fun little syringe. Mm, 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 mm. Yeesh. Drugs are bad, okay? Okay. Yep. Oh, what there happened over here? Another body over here. God, he was oh. shot too? Oh. 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 See, that or he OD'd so hard all the blood came out of his ears. <laughs> oh, wait, there's the gunshot on, wounds. He, there we go. He fell, he fell in a bottle of juice. <laughs> got a new source. Eh, more fucking yep. morphine. Yep, mm. there it is. It says poison on the box. Why would you put that into your body? Come on. Because the high feels so good, mate. Excuse me. Come back here and check out your boss, I guess. Oh my god! Holy shit! What the hell? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, these are cigarettes. Oh, okay. God! That's still, that's still <laughs> a lot of cigarettes, though. God! I thought that was, those were, like, morphine boxes. God damn! Look, at, look what we got here. Well, why? Automatic rifles. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. Hmm. BARs. I have no idea what those are, but you know, 30 caliber, very, very, very powerful, high grade weaponry. Two of them are gone. Odds are those guns were used in this murder. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get no. back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative vice squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. <laughs> oh, wait, you're, well, you're giving me such a, a fine welcome. Does this happen every night? Well, we had a couple of dudes die, so I think it's really the 109 Club now. Mm. No idea. They're dropping like flies. It was my this used to be the 200 Club. I'd been here, honey, I'd be full of holes, just like the They're doing better nowadays, because now it's a 700 Club. God damn, that's a boom. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie they should try the swing. The <laughs> then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? I Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. Does this game mm. delve into, Valentine's like, Christmas historical Christmas? gangsters? Not, no. Eddie it doesn't get into, like, you know, Bugsy Malone or Al Capone or anything like that. on the job, Detective? I mean, they, they reference the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and that's about most of the historical accuracies the gangsters are going to get. Okay. I was just thinking, it's like, if this end of case ends up with Al Capone, I think that would be great. Yeah, this isn't the Assassin's Creed of uh, detective games. Although, that would be cool, wouldn't it? It would be cool! Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Well, thanks, I guess. And now he's dead. Army surplus morphine, army surplus And let's repeat what we just said. <sighs> Sound familiar? Yes, it does. It's almost like you've said it before. Oh, another body! What the hell? Who are you? Good Lord! I think this is Eddie. Bad luck, Eddie. Uh, oh, no. man. Look at, look at all the places he was shot at. All of this. It's terrible. It's all around this general area. Oh, well. See ya. Yeah, the only thing you have to say is bad luck, Eddie. What an asshole. <laughs> yeah, bad luck. Yeah. It's Friday the 13th, buddy. 
So let's head to the blue room and follow up on that lead, see what's going on there. Oh, this should be interesting. I'm willing to bet. Willing to bet that Roy is the leader of the drug ring in this entire city, and it all takes place in the blue room. That's why he walks all, all over everybody there. He secretly owns it. Well, you have an overactive imagination if you're thinking that. I do. Thanks, Phoenix he, Wright. I mean, he's a cop. It's over oh, here. He's also a dirty cop. He's a dirty cop, but that doesn't mean he's the leader of the drug crime rings. I mean, why would he be trying to actively stop it? He would be like, you know, uh, obstructing you at every chance if he was behind it. Well, true, but what if he's leading you towards the small fish and not the big fish? So, you ready to hate Roy even more? Yeah, let's hate Roy! Let's hate Roy, that fucking prick. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Four. The police cared about dead black men. Percy Sage, Rose, Mary, and Time. Ah, oh. oh, fuck you! ...of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo, or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone footer? It says footer, so I don't think that's exactly a... ...speaking that German gibberish at me, Shut the fuck up, Roy! How about you get a drink? Where are you from, huh? Were you born in America? Were your parents all born in America? Or wait, did you come here from Europe as well? So why don't you go just soak your head and just drown yourself, you fucking idiot. He just crawled out of the American sewers and he just went, Anyone who's not me is wrong. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask the alt-right before the alt-right even existed. Alright, let's People interview Elsa here. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. I can't help you. Please, just let it go. Me. That's nothing special about your boys. I, I think you're lying. Please say the tradition continues that we are just going to call out everybody and say, You're right. a fucking liar, actually. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> you can do this the only way. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, so, so, something just caught me. I can assure you, he's a lot less sensitive. You think Clearly. Your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. Yeah, he would. White man supplies, black man buys. Italian man supplies more alike. Mm-hmm. My partner mentioned this is just names. after prohibition, practically. A couple decades I afterwards. Would you quit lying to me? <laughs> You knew these men. And how would you like to prove that, Detective? Well, I'll tell you how I'm going to prove it. <clears throat> Another time. Now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah once, once I find this, I'm going to prove it. The only way you're it, going but... to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. I don't love the music, mean, but the music like me. Did the music, like, beat him up at night or something like that? Was it an abusive relationship with music? Yeah, R&B this time sounds for, uh, rough and bruise. <laughs> rough and battery. Wait, no. <laughs> Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to <laughs> me with your stupid questions? You're losing the Phelps. You Reel it in. It's against the law. You're against the law. You're under arrest. You're lying. Try and make the world a better place. Slams the cuffs on her wrists. Very noble. You're under arrest for being German and asking me hard questions! <laughs> yeah! She's right. Uh, Cole Phelps, the kindergartner. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? So now we're gonna this talk to today? Mickey Cohen. You'll find him holding Gangster at the top of the food chain who might be supplying the morphine because that makes sense. Give me till tomorrow morning. It but does. Phelps says, Phelps says, wait until tomorrow, I want to follow up on something alone. And this is probably the part where I was like, what the fuck is this game trying to do? All right, let's see what so, the fuck this game is trying to do. Phelps is waiting outside the blue room. Mm -hmm. There goes Elsa, getting into a taxi. Yeah. Phelps isn't saying a damn word, but they're expecting us to follow Elsa. Okay. 
Okay. Be sure not to lose her. Be sure not to spook her, either. Right, right. So, you actually have to obey traffic laws right now. <laughs> well, for the sake of pacing, I'm just gonna follow her. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Right, right. Well, I mean, there's a right turn, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Mm hmm. Where is she heading? This this area actually does look familiar. We've uh, zoomed around here a couple few times. I'm just thinking, this reminds me of the one mission we were trying to do without running into anybody. <laughs> Up! Well, Don't speak of the me. devil. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm tailing someone. I'll give you my information later. Mm. Shit. Mm. Mm. And the whole power grid goes out, and then she's like, What the fuck? Yeah, just stay in the middle of the road. Where's she? Oh, there oh. we go. She's going into an apartment complex. Okay. Is she just going home? Hmm. I don't like it. So in comes Phelps. Round the corner. And bang! Oh. Phelps, what are you doing? So that's where she lives, right? Right. Clear, clearly. I mean, she didn't knock her anything, she just opened the door, and there she is. But here comes Phelps. What's he gonna do? Uh... Knock politely and somewhat awkwardly. No indication or any sort of foreshadowing whatsoever. He goes in and has a night with her! <laughs> <laughs> and Roy saw us do this! Excuse me? So we're going in having a night of crazy wild sex, probably, and having drugs, too. And it just... What brought that... What brought that about? How the... Why? Why did he do that? Maybe he needs his fix. He I didn't don't know. bring any sort of indication he needed to fix. He didn't have any sort of internal turmoil or anything. LA maybe it's what the fuck? I mean, maybe it's because it was army surplus. He's like, I know that stuff. That won't kill me. It's fucking stupid. If you'll follow me. Well, anyway, back to the case, I guess. You know, I'm feeling a little woozy. <laughs> you know, you know, ooh, oh, wow. You I'm know, not feeling so good. After. You're all liars. <laughs> You, where were you at? Uh, where were you at the <laughs> night of the murder? <laughs> Mickey, where are you? <laughs> oh, he starts like yelling German at people, and they're just like, "Whoa, why?" I will have your tall glass of your finest Scotch whiskey. Uh, where is he at? He just refuses to accompany me to church. What are you men doing? I just want to see Phelps just like start knocking bottles fine. over. It's just like it's fuck that. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Oh hey, it's that guy. He's not gonna put the shakes on me again. Mickey Both Cohen. Times. Mickey Cohen. Good Top afternoon. crime boss in the city. He has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny. Smith. Aren't you a little stupid for? Th <laughs> <laughs> uh, Phelps, come on, wake yourself up. <laughs> okay. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Be see, ashamed to see about, you go. That's the thing about Cole Phelps. You just give, he just takes and takes, and he and people just give and give to him. But no matter what, he always wants more. Johnny was at Fiend. You were in the Six That's not a really high moment for me. Told you, told you he was a dope. We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? That depends. Do you have one? I thought he was whipping open the book to call his lawyer. Do you need a lawyer? Phelps has got you covered. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Lion. 
You're muscling the guys who stole the morphine from the ship. You calling me a liar, kid? Yes. I ain't calling you a truther. You think you can prove that in court? Oh, that's huh? a good line. I love that line. One of the best lines from Drake and Josh. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Don't you shake sh my tree. Damn it, I was about to say, you shaking my tree, boy? <laughs> I don't I don't swing that way, son. <laughs> see what falls out. Oh, a coconut. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine. Kid, really, I call it less fiend. Ask a question you might get an answer to. I don't know. Based on some of these cases, there's more than morphine. Between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't mm. know anything about that. Bullshit. Shake that tree. Uh... Mm. Uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm yeah. out. I'm out. I see your face mm -hmm. shifting. Uh, uh, you heard bullshit. What happened at the 111 club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity. I'm Uncle sorry. I never heard of this 111 so club. Right. Never even heard of the 700 it's club. In business. fact, I'm not even a part of the Mile High Club. I'd recommend they get out of the life quickly. I don't even like swing music. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Ooh. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes mm. everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. Schmendricks? Uh, I'll ask around uh, and I'll get back to you. Old-timey slang that doesn't get used anymore. No we'll shit. If somebody that. called me a Schmedrick, I'd Cole, think they just, like, sneezed or something. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. Put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. So now they're sweating a little bit. They got to do something about that. We'll see. Ooh, they're gonna take us out. Mm.